perception there's all these mass shootings to then demonize guns and self-defense when 165 people died in 2000. And 13 from mass shootings total, more than 90 of those were gang members shooting each other. And I'm not saying that's okay, it's just a fact. You have a better chance of a honeybee, even Esquire did an article on this in the same issue I was in last year, a honeybee kills 200 plus. Okay? But they create the perception, and then this is all mind control on record. They admit that's why they do it. It's not to get cops ready for a mass shooting. You should get cops ready to, you know, provide the uh, emergency shots so kids don't die of honeybee stings on the playground. You know, they, I guess they ought to have TSA checkpoints for honeybees and, you know, lo lockdowns. A honeybee was seen. Cars kill hundreds of thousands, folks. Missouri teachers object to being shot during drills. Missouri students and teachers request by law are required by law to participate in active shooter drills. And they say they don't want to be part of it. And then we go through how they say that it's always right-wingers or gun groups or veterans groups who are the bad guys. And the kids and teachers are told the, the Tea Party's coming to murder everyone. And then the Pentagon drills, we've shown you these articles in Forbes. We broke it, but Forbes carried it. That they're saying the Tea Party's going to attack police stations and schools. And just last week in Ohio, they trained with the National Guard for the pro-gun group to attack the school. That's right. Never really happened in reality, but so what? Because they're really going to blow up federal buildings again and blame it on us. They're going to false flag us. You can see the whole script. You don't have to be smart to know this. Democratic parties have been caught in five different memos the last four years saying we need big terror attacks to blame the Tea Party. Obama needs it. It's a Bible page width from just admitting it openly. They're like, man, this would sure help us. And folks, if you study Soviet re-education camps, they would turn whole towns into tattletale snitch things. They would have these drills. This is what it's all about, and it's outrageous, and it shouldn't be going on in your school. We've had lawyers on from o Oregon, uh, from Minnesota and Texas who won lawsuits with their clients where they don't tell the kids and come into the fifth graders class and say, I'm going to kill you, and the kids literally crap all over themselves. They've done it with teachers and put them in the woods, not telling them it was a drill, and they're totally screwed up. They have government-run camps where they come at night and say they're going to kill them. And, and, and this is all part of the government traumatizing them, and then they're the savior. It's, it's Stockholm Syndrome. They are inducing mass Stockholm Syndrome. Now, Dr. Ed Group joins us, great patriot, former Army Special Forces. Doesn't like me saying that, but it's just interesting. He's such a nice guy and a, one of the top product developers in the country. We're so blessed he's developed three products for us. That's not why he's overall here today. But then we fund ourselves with Super Mel Vitality, Survival Shield, Fluoride Shield, and the rest of it at InfoWarsLife.com. We're going to break in a few minutes, but and I'm going to give you the floor when we come back because you want to get into the psychological warfare takeover today and the current DSM that, that lists not trusting the government as a mental illness. I mean, I mean, this is literally the Soviet Union. But, but, but what do you make of what they're doing with these active shooter drills? Exactly what you're talking about. I mean, they're just trying to instill fear into the public. They're trying to manipulate the public. They're trying to control the public. And it's exactly what I wanted to talk about today, because if you look back at the history, there is an agenda going on. I mean, we talk about it a lot. And and one thing that we haven't got into detail about is the agenda to create mental illness through fear tactics and everything else to classify everybody as having a mental disorder. And there's a there's a complete agenda that's been put into place since the late 1800s that's continuing today. And that's something that uh, everybody needs to know about the psychotropic drugs that are that are being used which are mind-altering drugs, anything from antidepressants to the stimulants, the Adderall, all this other stuff. And they won't tell you St. John's wort in double-blind studies has been proven to be better than psychotropics. They won't tell you you can get natural plant-derived lithium that'll settle anybody down. They, they just don't tell you all the natural stuff that's there. No, by design, they want every single person classified as a mental illness, and that's why the DSM, the, Di the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual that psychiatry has created, there's no scientific history of any scientific studies that can actually verify a mental illness. You can, like a cancer cell, you can look at it under a microscope and say, that's a cancer cell. Okay, if I put this substance in there, I can see it killing the cancer cell. But there is no statistical evidence or any scientific evidence that can justify any mental illness that people are suffering from today. And it's voodoo. Most people, it turns out, correct me if I'm wrong, who end up having classical schizophrenia, they don't tell them it's heavy metal toxicity. 
Right. The thing is, they classify mental illness as a chemical imbalance. And that was started in the 1930s when a, when a scientist came out and said he theorized that all mental illness was a chemical imbalance in the brain. Of course, there's no proof of that, but psychiatry has used that and the big pharmaceutical companies have used the chemical imbalance statement to produce and to create diseases like loneliness now, like nail biting, all these mental illnesses that they can drug people for. Well, sure, to expand their business, but in truth, there is chemical imbalance because of what they're putting in the food and the water. Then they come in with another chemical to mask that. Let's talk about it when we come back. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Who has the perfect piece of gear for your bushcraft pack or bug out bag? Canteenshop.com. Want to be able to start a fire in any weather? Canteenshop.com. Need a well built handcrafted knife that'll be passed down for generations? Get to Canteenshop.com for the best selection of high quality hand picked gear from over 20 small U.S. businesses and big name brands to bring you the best that the bushcraft survival world has to offer. Canteenshop.com. What's missing? What's missing from your kit? Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Obama just signed an executive order. We're getting a copy of it. Visa restrictions, economic sanctions, 
In short, new Cold War. All those drifters oh, boy, I tell you, they need a new big defense budget, and they're doing the big show. So there you go. The Al-Qaeda's now their buddy. Uh, the Tea Party and the Russians are the new enemy domestically. And um, speaking of drugging the population, mom who drove kids into the ocean, another victim of antidepressants. It turns out she was on them. turned out Adam Lanza was on them. 99% of the time, literally, I've talked to cops. They pull up and some woman's chopped their baby up. They go look in the in the medicine cabinet, and there's the serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Um, just absolutely amazing. That's up on Infowars.com. That's exactly what you were just talking about, Dr. Group. It's it's becoming such a huge problem all over the world that it's it, the antidepressants and the stimulants are becoming so heavy in the water supply now that even if you're not on antidepressants and you drink the water over in Europe, a gallon of water equals the equivalent of one Prozac. I mean, this is the problem that we're dealing with right now is, is this was all done by design to dumb down the population, to addict the population, and no mental illness was ever scientifically proven. If you trace it back, psychiatry... Psychiatrists, first of all, weren't even really doctors a long time ago. They were just caretakers of the mentally ill. Over a period of time, they started creating all these mental illnesses, supposedly, so they could team up with the pharmaceutical companies and create the first diagnostic and statistical manual, which actually outlines mental illnesses and then create drugs to be able to uh, put people on. And I've got to interrupt you because they read my mind and I was going to interrupt and I controlled myself and didn't. Fish are becoming killers, ABC News, minnows because of it, uh, just like the kids. And the fish are also committing suicide, swimming right up to birds, so are shrimp. Uh, you put women on these drugs, it makes them nymphomaniacs. It takes away the inhibition. It's absolutely, and it hurts your brain, it hurts your heart. Go ahead. All of the shooters that are that uh, have shot people, they're all on some sort of antidepressants. Anti, you the know, insert anti says it. The insert says it. Absolutely. Suicide. I mean, look at the military. 716 people out of every 100,000 on antidepressants are committing suicide. There's more soldiers in the military committing suicide than dying of actual war itself. These children um, all over the nation that are committing suicide, even as young as five years old, the children that are in state custody foster care programs, over 90% of them are on antipsychotic drugs. And usually that's not, you know, they're being screened. And if you, you, can, you can screen, there's no testing to determine if somebody should be on these medications. It's not like you can take a blood test a hair test, a urine test, and say, okay, you have a chemical imbalance. And they're in the psychotropic hallucinogen family. Yes, I mean, a psychotropic drug would be an antidepressant or a stimulant or anything that's a psychotropic is just mind-altering. So basically, they're altering your mind. Now, here's how this factors into the whole Obamacare and everything else. If you're classified as uh, having a mental illness then they can strip all your rights away from you. And that's actually happened to individuals, too, that had a diagnosis of a mental illness. They, they weren't even allowed to vote. They weren't allowed to see their children. They lost all their money. So technically, the government can strip all your rights from you if you're classified with a mental illness. So another uh, you know, reason why they want to push this on people and push it on kids is so that everybody is labeled with mental illness. Now, by the time a child is 18, they've gone through at least 12 mental illness screens in school. They have what's called a teen screen going on right now all across the nation where... And they ask, are you anxious at age 11? Yes. Uh, are you ever, ever have anxiety? Do you ever cry? Well, you need to be on psychotropics, which is part of the new freedom initiative. The goal is to put half the kids on the drugs. Nine out of 10 kids are prescribed a drug after a teen screen right now. 84% of the kids that took the test were also falsely labeled as depressed. How is that going to affect them later on in life? I mean, when you got all these kids and it's not- This is how they get rid of their rights. It's the new slavery. Well, right, because, you know, it, people are easily controllable whenever they're, not only that, like what you said, they're not addressing the root cause of the problem. Those numbers are incredible. These numbers are incredible. I've got 100, 100 million people worldwide on drugs, right, on psychiatric drugs. 70% of prescribed psychotropic drugs are by general physicians now. So they've even moved away from the fact that you have to go th see a psychiatrist or a psychologist. You can just go to your doctor. And what they've done through all the advertising in the media through... You know, are you feeling lonely? Are you feeling depressed? Ask your doctor about Zoloft. So basically, the 
the individual people now they're targeting are going to their doctor saying, doctor, I saw this commercial and I want Zoloft or I want Paxil. Exactly. They don't say you're depressed because you're not getting sunlight need to be out.